This is a demonstration of Hyperlink's board sim. Here we have a simple design that was discovered not to be working on the first prototype. The engineer found there's an FPGA in this area of the board which doesn't receive a clock signal. We can view this clock signal by selecting it from the list of nets and we can see this is a straightforward net however it does run for the majority of the design on the inner layer and is difficult to probe and difficult to modify. Having assigned models I can simulate this net and we can see it has quite a large amount of noise on both transitions and that this 1.3 volts of noise would call receiver reset. It's a fairly straightforward fix to modify this I need to add a series resistor. This would of course meant respinning the prototype but with hyperlinks I can do this with just the CAD data. So I go over to my virtual terminators and add a series resistor and I put an initial value of 22 ohms. In fact this is what happened with the real design on the second prototype. If we re-simulate this we can see whilst the noise does decay quite quickly there's still an overall noise value of approaching 1 volt which is still too much and would cause receiver reset. However, having indicated the correct strategy, it's simply the resistor value which is wrong. We can calculate that inside the simulation tool, and it should have been 68 ohms. Apply that to this particular design, and then re-simulate. Now, we have a perfectly terminated clock, which will work, and this could have been discovered before the first prototype was built by using simulation.